Welcome to another demo of functionality of IBM Rational Asset Analyzer. This time I'd like to talk about custom queries and user-defined uh, relationships as uh, they are a critical part of the language-independent functionality of Asset Analyzer allowing to connect artifacts across platforms and instill human knowledge into Asset Analyzer. This demo will build on uh, the previous demos and uh, will use the same contents of the repository. We will see how to define custom query that was used in the exploration demo. Log on to Asset Analyzer and let's go directly to custom queries. Explore custom queries and start and populate it with the queries that are already provided with the product go to import custom queries the wizard opens and here you can see the URL that will point to the original RAA server location all you have to do provide user ID and password click next and that will take you through the wizard where you can select all or some of the queries that are shipped with the product here what I want to show is how to create a new custom query custom query wizard opens and uh, create a custom query show table name references in files this custom query will be an action on uh, db2 table details page. I uh, will say don't expire and we will say assign to the to the page. Assign this new query as an action item on the details page. And the details page that we will select will be db2 table details and now is the hard part that you need to know um, inter working of asset analyzer but at this point if you need a custom query I strongly encourage you to first import the queries that are shipped and try to learn from them if you have any questions come to the IBM developer works RAA forum I have pre-prepared our query that we will use here. This is the join between uh, files and the DB2 table based on symbols, the symbol corresponding to the database table name. On this page, we will be able to select what will, what will be the visualization of the items that we get back from uh, the selected query. We don't want to see the IDs, but we do want to see the container name, call it hat. We don't want to see file ID at all. We do want to see the file name, the file. We do want to see the source, the uh, label, view, source will not be searchable we'll just view the column and it will not be a sort column okay don't want to search column options next all of those we want to be in the default view all of those we want to be hyperlink because we decided that our columns that will be displayed here will be hyperlinks, we need to provide the construction of those hyperlinks according to the rules that are here. You can always go to the help. Help uh, in uh, Asset Analyzer is uh, screen sensitive and you can reach it by pressing a little question mark here. This will give you a little bit more information about how to construct those things. We will construct the link container details page. The next one will be the link to the file details page. And the last one will be a link to view source 
of the given file. We'll sort first by the uh, directory and then we'll sort by file. This is the review screen. Finish. Here is our custom query that we have created. It is a link, but the link here will not yield uh, our results because we have uh, anchored this query on uh, DB2 table details page. Let's see the query in action. Go explore DB2 tables, order table. Here is freshly created custom query. We have the results that the order table name as a string occurs in the following files. We see our links and we can use for example the link to view the source in uh, order DDL and uh, here is our order table inside of the DDL. We found it through our process of exploration and adding custom query but it would be good if we had that information readily available on the details pages and in the impact analysis. So in the next step we will create user-defined relationship between the DB2 table and uh, this file. Let's go back to our results. There is also a relationship between the order table and the bytecode classes because COBOL references those tables as well. We would like to know that the COBOL program is related to the Java class and uh, if the COBOL program is changing, someone may want to look also at uh, Java. So we will create user-defined relationship uh, between COBOL and Java as well. Let's go to user-defined relationships. So let's define uh, new user defined relationship we'll name the relationship order table to ddl we'll say that uh, we'll be relating db2 table named order table yes confirmed that is our table and we will be relating it to file order that the L. Now we'll go next. Affirmative. We'll create a relationship two ways. Now we also want to create a relationship between the COBOL program linked order table programs in Java. Start with uh, our COBOL program. Programs. The, our program name was XCJDB. P9, yep, that's confirmed, and we'll relate it to the distributed bytecode class. This time we will use the power of patterns. All classes that start with order will be related to that COBOL program. In many organizations, patterns are being used in a naming conventions. People who know the patterns and the relationship between those patterns can create user-defined relationship based on pattern. We will create the relationship between the COBOL program and all classes that uh, the names of which start with orders. Here is next. We'll make it two ways and safe. Okay. Here we have our two new user-defined uh, relationship. We have the order table manipulating programs uh, in Java in COBOL relationship and we have the relationship between the table and the DDL. Let's explore where we can see those uh, relationships. First, let's go to, to our DB2 table, order table, and we have user related assets here and here we are with all the order DDLs that are related to that table. We can go to the details of order DDL file and look at the user related artifacts and here it is the DB2 table that is um, related to this uh, DDL file. Let's go back to the table itself and see that this table 
is referenced from the program because we know that uh, information by uh, uh, our deep knowledge about COBOL. So let's go to that COBOL program and see what are user-defined relationships for this COBOL program. Here we are. The asset is ordered. This is the bytecode class. We have the direct link from the COBOL to Java. Let's take a look at the details of the Java class. Here we have user-related assets and we can see in one single view the COBOL that is related to Java class and at the same time we are viewing the structure of Java application. What we have seen in this demo is IA's ability to absorb, persist and enable sharing of human knowledge in custom queries and user-defined relationships. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. See you next time.